As of now, this is Lazy Morton. What is up, Far Cry Nation? Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to tell you guys how to get the secret M16 weapon in your arsenal, making one of the best assault rifles currently found in the game. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to go about it. The reason we're going with the word secret here is because we didn't know this thing existed until last week. But I want to make a video because I know a lot of you might not have completed certain objectives to actually unlock it. Or for those of you who might be picking up the game through Christmas, you're definitely going to want to make sure you get this weapon as quickly as you possibly can. As you guys see here in the gameplay, the gun really wrecks. But let's take a live, uh, closer look at the weapon and find out the stats. Talk about the difference between the standard M16 and kind of compare it and tell you guys why you want to get this weapon and why you might want to skip it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. But trust me, guys, when I want to tell you, you don't want to skip this gun. It's actually really, really powerful. So let's go into our arsenal here. And we're going to go into our weapons. Our current M16 looks like this, guys. This is the current looking M16A1. And the reason I want you guys to pay close attention to this is because it's going to be really important that you see the stats and what we're able to offer with this weapon. So right off the bat, guys, you're going to notice that the standard M16 here gives you the ability to have ammo socket. It gives you the ability to have the muscle. gives you, the, uh, of course, the aim down sight and the laser. Now, the problem with this M16 is the fact that you're only able to equip one mod. Now, one of the downsides of the M16 is, of course, the magazine being only 20. That is a big downside because since you're killing multiple enemies, you want to have as much ammo as in the clip. Now, let's talk about the secret weapon that we actually are going to be able to get and you're going to learn how to get, which is this one, guys, the, the, the Contaminant. Now, this particular weapon is the same variant, but with a twist. Let's take a look at a little bit of comparison here and find out exactly what we're getting. So, first off the bat, guys, we get the following. We get a total of four attachment slots, as you see right here. So within these attachment slots, we're able to swap and put any sort of attachment that we currently want. So we want to modify this differently. We're able to modify that. But what makes this beautiful is that not only, not only, guys, does it give us the advantage of getting one of the most powerful uh, mods in the game, which is the last mod, this one, Overclock, which is going to improve your damage of the weapon. But it also gets us, let us get two more additional mods which is awesome because right here we're able to put the refill mod and this is going to boost the weapon from going from 20 rounds in the magazine to 30 rounds in the magazine allowing you to kill multiple enemies and then on top of that you still get one more additional mod which is going to improve body shots to weapon this one you can go with whatever you want now on top of that guys you can definitely go into the workbench and customize this and put the armor piercing rounds which would make this weapon really deadly now i didn't want to include the armor piercing rounds when i was in the gameplay because I did want you guys to see how powerful the weapon was without the armor piercing rounds. If I slap the armor piercing rounds on this weapon, it is a total monster, guys. It just automatically wrecks. Now, the question is, Laser, how do you get this gun? How do you go about it? Before I tell you that, I do want to let you guys know that on top of that, you're going to get this gun, but you're also going to get this gear, too. And I wanted to showcase the gear just so you know, not only are you going to be getting the weapon, the secret M16, but you're also going to be getting this weird call the decontaminant mask, which is going to tag nearby enemies after you take them. So it's one of the best looking masks out there. It looks really, really dope. Uh, you also get this one, the decontaminant jacket, which is going to greatly improve your stamina recovery. You get the pants, the breach and clear pants, which is going to improve your SMG ammo reserve. Uh, no, sorry, improve your fire and poison defense. I don't know what was highlighting that one. And then you all are also going to get the boots right here as well, which are going to improve boot speed after quickly killing three enemies at once. And last but not least, you get the gloves, which gives you the gadget kills reward bonus supremo charge, which allows you to get your supremo active as quickly as you possibly can. So overall, the suit looks really awesome. But the main bread and butter, guys, of course, is the weapon. So how do you go about actually doing these? Well, guys, it's super easy. What you want to do is you're going to be able to head to an encampment. So let's go ahead and head to a base right here. And we're going to head to a base. And once we're located at a base, I'll tell you guys exactly what you need to do to get it done. All right, so once you guys go to a base, guys, you're going to go over to this lady right here. And you're going to talk to her. And you're going to notice that we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six different special operations. Now, these operations, each one will give you guys a piece of gear. Now, the crazy thing is, for those of you who have been following and doing them as they come out, you should theoretically already have this gun. 
Now, for some reason, you skipped one because of the holidays. You weren't able to complete it. Now they're all completely unlocked for you guys. So you'll be able to do all of these without a problem. Now, the way you get the weapon is super easy, guys. You're going to want to make sure you complete all the missions. So you want to make sure you do all the special operations. So uh, Masonica, uh, you want to make sure you do Maceo, Cocodrilo, Los Tres Santos, Puerto de la Den, and the last one, Malagua. And you'll be able to get the weapon, plus you'll also be able to get the gear. But the main thing you want to get here is the weapon. So to get the M16, the secret one, you got to do all six special operations. Just complete them. Get them completed. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to complete them. As long as you complete them, and you will be getting that secret M16. I'm going to leave you guys with just a tad bit more gameplay so you can see the weapon in action. And of course, you're definitely going to want to equip a, a clip like I do. The only thing you want to be different than the one I showed you around screen is you're going to want to make sure you change the uh, the first mod from what it currently comes with, the default one, to the, of course, armor piercing, which is going to make this weapon a monster. So we're going to go ahead and check it right here. Click right here. And we're going to change this one from ammo socket. We're going to go here to ammo piercing rounds which will make this weapon even more powerful than it currently is. So this is how you want to have it built. And there you have it, guys. That is how you get the secret M16, the contaminant one in Far Cry 6. I hope you guys are enjoying our coverage. If you are, guys, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. I'm going to leave you with a little bit more gameplay. Enjoy it, and I'll talk to you guys later.